Elon, here are some suggestions for names that you can consider renaming your child with. Uh, first of all, Nicola. You know, so it works for Tesla. No. Gay. Um, Rayquaza. No. No, fuck that. And I also pronounced it correctly. There we go. It's Rayquaza. No, it's Rayquaza. It's Rayquaza, you uncultured bitch. Okay. Your real name? No, no. you dingus. No. What's your real name? Don't worry about it. Come on, tell me your real name. I'm not gonna dox myself over the fucking internet. No. Oh, I know what your I know what your real name is. I found it. It's Keandra. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> This episode of Furry Frequencies is brought to you by New York City 311. In this time of social distancing, it's important that we do our part to flatten the curve. To that end, Mayor de Blasio has opened a new 311 line to report social distancing and stay-at-home violators like Mayor de Blasio. Just text a photo to 311692 and you're done. Text a pic of de Blasio at the gym, at the pool, at the store, or even getting some sweet blowjobs well, from an intern behind the 7-Eleven while he smirks at you and coops in your general direction. Snitch away today. Note, de Blasio may masturbate to any pics you send to 311692. New York City. It, everybody hates us because we're New York's crap hole. Hello and welcome to Furry Frequencies, the soundtrack to your furry life. I'm Lifty and joining me on this podcast tonight is Silox. Hey, how's it going? And IBM. Hey, how's it going? So we've got... A lot that uh, has been happening recently over this past weekend. Um, we have some new information to spill about FWA. We want to dish on Diesel Raccoon because he had some uh, some hot topics to talk about earlier. And also, we want to talk about we we have some uh, we want to like have a stranger danger on this one demon dude that's kind of local to us. He um, Kind of did some unsavory things, and we're going to talk about it. But first, we want to start off by talking about the end of Furry Omegle Night. Um, so this past weekend was the very last Furry Omegle Night, and um, apparently the problems that they had prior to now, they still had at this last Furry Omegle Night. And not only that, they had on top of that... A, a crazy cat lady that was skinning live cats on on Omegle. Um, so what? How, oh boy! <laughs> yeah, I can I can start in any number of ways on this topic. Silas, did you want to did you want to add on to it for a minute? Um, besides the fact that they have they never learned whatsoever from their mistakes and had an admin team consisting of a big overgrown idiot who uh, ran a con into a ground, um, multiple people who are um, either below the age of 18 or 18, and people with zero experience whatsoever. Um, look, this was a great concept, and I applaud them for taking the initiative to set this up, but it was horribly executed. and. It showed every time they held furry Omegle night. Well, I don't think it was just that. I think the biggest problem with furry Omegle night is that from the very beginning, from the very start of it, they had no control over what they just did. And it showed they were way over their head. They almost seemed like they had no idea what Omegle was. Because if you're surprised with the amount of trolls and amount of people showing off their dick on Omegle and other things, crazy cat lady notwithstanding, you don't know what Omegle is. This shit has been on Omegle since the first time Omegle has ever been on the internet. And now people are getting freaked out because they're like, oh no, those mini trolls, they're making, they're, they're ruining my experience. And I'm just like, bro, just get the fuck off Omegle then. <laughs> yeah, no. Don't change Omegle. 
Like that's what they tried to do. They tried to change Omegle and they fucking failed because you can't do that. You just can't do that. No, you can't. And they tried so hard desperately to control it. Um, they came up with tags um, each time they started um, a new Omegle night. Um, that Sunday, they came up with tags uh, a couple of days before, but it was like, that's not going to fix the situation at hand. There are still going to be trolls. There are still going to be crazy cat lady. There are still going to be people getting skipped in favor of other people. I mean, I don't know why they th were s they thought that it would fix stuff, you know? It didn't. In fact, it made things way worse. Well, on top of that, the tags, the tag situation, let me add some background to that tag situation. So around the sixth Furry Omegle night, they decided to include tags so that people can just add the tags and it would just be like kind of an insular Omegle that they can work with. So, you know, furries in the know, all they use the tags and everybody who's into Furry Omegle night is kind of connected in that way but here is the problem a lot of people were using tags were using common tags for the furry community like furry furry fandom and these tags were the very same tags that the trolls were using and the crazy cat lady was using and the wannabe amateur pornographers were using yeah. And even worse was when they decided, well, first of all, for the sixth Furry Amigo Night, they put their tag, their first tag, Furry Amigo Night 6, on Twitter, where anybody can read it. And guess what happened? Anybody who wanted to be a part of it, including the trolls, including the crazy cat lady, including somebody who wanted to show off their butthole hair, they could get in on the fun too. And they did. So Furry Amigo 7 happened and they decided, you know what? I think what we should do is change the tags every week. But we won't broadcast them on Twitter where everybody else can see them. We will broadcast them on our channel, on Telegram or Discord. So guess what happened next? The yeah. unsavory people that mm. they wanted to avoid joined the Telegram chat and the Discord chat, and nobody vetted them. Nobody thought anything was amiss with these people joining in. And so what did these people do? They spread the tags once they were released to everybody else that they wanted to join that nobody else on Omegle on furry amigo night wanted so you have the same problem yet again the crazy cat lady the wannabe pornographers the trolls the the people that were so high and mighty of themselves that they kept on telling people ew your fursuit's ugly you should burn it you know those people yeah yeah i i saw the um the twitter posts about that and to be perfectly honest i was not surprised that someone made that post on omegle um the people who were both in the chat and who probably frequented oh jesus who probably frequented furry night furry omegle night seemed like the kind of people who would say something to that effect um Let's be honest, there were a lot of people who were on there looking to interact with popular people. It happens. Um, and those who either didn't have a suit or had one, but it may not have been the best looking, people generally skip them. I mean, this was reported time and time again in the chat. And you know, the admins thought they could fix that by having tags, but it, it doesn't work that way. People are going to search for who they're going to search for. You can't regulate what people do, especially on a program that you don't even own and have no control over. But that's where you're wrong, Silox. That's the whole point of the tags. The tags weren't, to, weren't a way to control 
the trolls, they were a way to control you. Oh, fuck it. You know, I'm so tired of hearing about it. So, look, y'all fucking trifling, attention-seeking whores, okay? I understand. Yeah, you you want people to talk to oh, you shit. and you're fucking really, really cute, <clears throat> quote-unquote, fursuit. I haven't said anything all this fucking podcast so far, but I'm going to say something about this, okay? Thirsty bitches. Every one of you fucking want attention. You get pissy whenever somebody fucking skips you, makes you feel like crap. Really fucking bears down on your self esteem, doesn't it? Makes you look at yourself like I really don't matter. Oh yeah, okay. Fuck that. You do matter to somebody. So don't think just because some dumb fuck on the other side of the goddamn planet, just because he's got a goddamn computer and a webcam, makes you feel less important because he doesn't want to look at your ugly ass. Consider that. Okay? Yeah, you don't look very good. Yeah, you don't have a very good looking fursuit. Yeah, you don't have one at all. What the fuck do they got that you want? Why are you fucking taking this to heart? And why are you looking at it like it's some detrimental fucking thing to your elf? Fuck that. Get, get, wake the fuck up and realize that you are looking for validity, or I'm sorry, validation from these less than important dumb fucks that have nothing better to do than go online and act like they have a social life. Go outside. Make some fucking friends. Not right now, obviously. You got some problems. But, you know, what I'm trying to say. This furry Omegle night. Yeah, okay, good idea. Fucking network with the behind the safety of a webcam. Uh, Excuse me. There's nothing more dangerous than getting online and showing yourself, your face, your whatever, to a bunch of dumb fucks from countries away, people you don't even fucking know. Why the hell you want to do that anyway? So, that's my, my two cents. Why the fuck does anyone give a fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, all I can say about that is you are 100% correct. Um, and that needed to be said. A lot of these people felt like uh, they deserved to be not skipped and deserved to be talked to. And it's like, but no, you don't problem. deserve that. Furry Omegle Knight, it, it had good intentions, but it was just so poorly executed. Omegle is not the, the platform for validation and for actual social networking in this time of coronavirus where everybody's staying at home. It's not a real you know, networking platform, not a great networking platform, to be honest. It's really just something that you do as a novelty, like once and, you know, the novelty kind of wears off. If you're good with, if you are good with small talk, small talking with random strangers, you'll love Omegle Night. But a lot of people aren't. And a lot of people are turned off by small talk anyway, because how many times do you go on the internet and you get a random hi from you know, some rando on Twitter or Telegram. A lot. That's basically just what, that's all, that's how for you so, so tell, all start. Tell me this. So why is it that when someone fucking randomly messages you on Telegram, Twitter, et cetera, et cetera, you get pissed off and confused as to why this person is randomly fucking messaging you. But you act as, you actively seek for that rando to fucking message you or talk to you. On Omegle, when he can see what you look like and possibly have other references to, to references to find out who you are, uh, where you live, etc., etc. There's a lot of fucking question marks that are going up here. How stupid and fucking dumb people really are. First off, I, I'm not getting on fucking any webcam that shows my face or whatever. I'm not doing that, you know? I I did the fucking Omegle thing back in the day, and it wasn't, you know, to have a, a howdy-do. It was to whip my dick out and make people fucking drool over it, okay? That's what it was. That's what Omegle has always been to me, chat roulette especially. Uh, it, yes, yes, it was a great idea to try to get people t to, to network and connect and stuff. The implementation, the actual execution of the idea shame the fuck on you you all failed get over it there'll be other opportunities and better platforms 
Maybe next time you'll spend a little bit more time thinking it through before you just go ahead and pull the trigger on some fucking hot idea that came off the press from some dumb fuck out in the boonies of goddamn Caroline County. And I, I say wow. that with all the love in the world to people in Caroline County. You my people. Not really, dumb fucks. But oh, God. <laughs> the, the thing, what I'm trying to say here is, is that there's a lot of fucking um, narcissism. You, you guys, you guys want people to take notice of you, give you that. Oh my god, your suit is so cute. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're fucking self grooming. Yeah, you, you want somebody to pet you. Why? Why do you need that? More, I understand why you want it. Why do you need that right here, right now? It, it, you know what? It really makes you look like you're full of shit, full of yourself. Makes you look like a douchebag, in my opinion. Do I actively go out and look for that shit? No, that's just me. Other people do. That's fine. I understand getting attention is fun for some people, but it's also, it, it's also negative in a way. You really have to look at it from every angle to get where I'm coming from from this. But uh, going back to the subject at hand, yeah, it was a it was a it was a good but bad, very bad idea. Especially the fact that they cannot limit to any anybody that sees the streams, uh, who has access to it, and ultimately, since they have no administrative rights, they can't really do anything about the. Uh, non PG 13 streams that have obviously become such a problem. Uh, several minors were exposed to less than, uh, you know, uh, less than charming features of human beings. Uh, and it, it, it was not a good idea. Obviously it's one of these things that just literally can slip through the cracks of, of most enforcements, but you brought this upon the community. And you know who you are. You should feel ashamed. And you should feel like an idiot. I can't believe you thought this was a good idea in the first place. Next time, really listen and do your research before you pull the trigger on something you think is really going to help people. I think this was more of something that was started like in the... It, it was started on a whim and it just kind of caught on from there. But they, but like I said, they had no control over what they just did. They had no control over Omegle. They had no control over Omegle's users. They had no control. They had little to no control over the furry Omegle Knight users themselves. They didn't. They, they, had, they had no control over anything. And I acknowledge that 100%. I know they don't have control over it. Why am I chastising them? Because when one person has an idea and they spread it like a wildfire and they try to get more people involved, it becomes their responsibility, de facto. The thing is, is that they were the ones that decided where they're going to organize this event and invite people around to, to join it. <clears throat> and they did. It's a it's a it's a quote unquote convention. You say the word convention and furries flock to it like stink on fucking shit. OK. So <laughs> with that with that fact in mind. They're basically the the proprietor of the event. Does that necessarily mean they have full responsibility of the actions of the of the of the attendees? No, but. They do have some sort of responsibility to ensure that the people that have been invited are are somewhat limited. It's very difficult to do on the platform that they chose. Actually, impossible. Oh uh, yeah. They should have honestly before they had this uh, idea set in motion. They should have had a better idea of where to do it. Omegle was definitely not the not the. Uh, ideal spot it, it wasn't and to get a last word in um i i just want to say i i get why it was done i get why they wanted to have this again we're in unprecedented we're in unprecedented times and we all can't meet up in person however the execution was was poor the mod team was non-existent besides one person um who i won't say well 
I'll say her name, um, their name, Reskel. Um, everybody else was pretty much non-existent. Like I said, they partnered with a guy who managed to fuck up an entire convention um, with his own goddamn ego. So that should already automatically let you know that this was going to be become other shit down, become other shit. Excuse me. Um, what I will say is that if they want to do this again, might I suggest Discord? Um, Zoom or any other service out there, not named Chat Roulette or Omegle, because if you are, if you at least have those and want to use those, you have control over uh, what is said, what is done, what is posted. With Omegle, you don't have control over that. You're going to see Crazy Cat Lady. You're going to see some dude in India whip out his dick and ask to see your bobs and vagina or whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> You're going to see that, okay? Um, it is what it is. And like I said, I get it. Got why it was done. It was fun for a while, but people are people. People are shitty. So, you know. I mean, they happen. still they still have a Telegram group and a Discord server. They which suck. Everybody has flocked to. It doesn't give the same feeling as being on Omegle. I get that, but Omegle is not an appropriate venue for this. Definitely Especially not. Especially not for thirteen year olds. No. All right, so let's move on to the next bullet point. Uh, new details with F FWA. This is this one's new to me. I actually don't know anything about it, but I, I, I assume Silox is going to let us know about it because you know you're such a such a peach with this one, aren't you? What? For, first of all, why did you say really peach? I'll 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 oh, start Lord. it off because I've got the stuff right in front it's of in me. Georgia. I, so, didn't, to the 80s, I didn't say anything about it being in Georgia. I just said it's because you were very fucking salty about it the last time, huh? <laughs> oh, oh, oh! I thought because of, I thought it was because of Georgia. That's why you said that. What does Georgia have anything to do with peaches. this? I, peaches. Peaches. They're called yes. the Peach State. Oh well, that's just by fucking coincidence that I said that. I said you were you were <laughs> acting like a peach about it last time. It's a, it's a oh. figure of speech. Peach, meaning you are you are so bittersweet about the fucking whole ordeal, you know. Just just what what you got, Lefty? Well, Goddamn. I'll so anyway. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Continue, Lefty. Uh, I've got the information right in front of me on my screen. Are they going to give Silox a fucking refund or no? No, and neither will Disney. So <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, um, later on after they announced that uh, they were going to give out the refunds, they decided. Someone decided on Twitter to look further into the details of uh, FWA's refund policy and um, brought out a lot of details that actually made them look even shittier than they actually are. And also, not only that, but FWA itself, they released a statement um, that actually specified how their finances were spent and and uh, their status as an organization from here on out, uh, which I got to read and I don't quite agree with it. So um, this also affects the this also seems to affect the uh, the um, the dealers as well. Because. Hold on. I thought you said you had your facts straight. Yeah, I do. Fuck you. <laughs> so, so the dealers they have a similar they have a similar situation with their table regards to um, regards to refunds, and of course, anybody who's dealt at any convention knows that you know dealing at a table or dealing at uh, at a convention is expensive. You got an you got to pay for, you know, upfront for a table that costs like anywhere from a hundred bucks all the way up to like three hundred, four hundred dollars, and that's you know quite a large chunk of profit that you have to eat just to sell, and um, so uh, a user by the name of Rainbow Wolf noted that the dealers and the attendees have different dates for actually acting upon whether or not they can get a refund. Everybody else, all the attendees have 
until May the 6th to ask for a refund on their general admission. Dealers for just a table have to act upon their table registration. No, just for the table. They can either refund or roll over their table registration until May 11th. So first and foremost, Rainbow Wolf did mention that registration does not come with your dealer's den table purchase. You have to purchase it separately. So if you purchased your registration, you have to make a quick decision right off the bat. Do you want to deal at FWA in 2021 or just be an attendee for FWA 2021 or not go at all? You can totally just not go at all. And I'm pretty sure after all this mess, a lot of people are taking that latter option where they're just deciding to say, hey, fuck you, FWA. I'm not going at all. Well, it's because of their fucking poor choice and management style. I mean, offering partial uh, re refunds instead of a full, uh, that's going to piss a lot of people off. I understand that you have to, you have to make ends meet on some of your contracts and you're going to have to take a hit. If they don't have the uh, the resources financially to actually uh, meet their, uh, I guess, their financial ob obligations and refund the money of their customers fully for a product or service that they didn't receive, they shouldn't be in operation. Nonprofit or not, you failed. You failed to do your due diligence and abide by the rules and common courtesy that you owe it to your attendees who repeatedly come down to that shithole of a fucking state and spend money in that fucking cesspool of a city to see your crappy ass fucking con. And Enough. you fail. You fail to do what's right every single time. And here you are thinking that this is okay. You deserve to be dissolved. If you can't do anything right, you don't deserve to exist. That's how I see it. Anthrocon is at least giving people that option to take the full refund if they choose to, which it's an option. That's how it should be because Anthrocon knows this was unforeseeable. This was unplanned. Nobody saw this fucking gonna, uh, coming. So, so because it's a bigger venue, understandably, they have the resources available. They have that money. But... It's going to come as a humongous hit to the organization. There is a chance that Anthrocon will be hindered for next year. Make no mistake, this will hurt the convention organization. But as a courtesy to their loyal customers and the new ones, they're offering this as an option. But it's also giving more people the inclination to donate their proceeds and the monies that they've already spent at Anthrocon for the next year because of the hit that they have to take this year. You see the difference in there. When you give people the option, they choose to be gracious. But when you choose to be cheapskate and say, no, you're only getting this, do you see what you're doing to yourself? You're destroying everything you've made. Well, I think this brings up a further point um, that, that should be looked into, in my opinion, and that is FWA's finances. Um, because to me, a convention of that size, it's what the third or fourth largest uh, furry convention in this country, um, they shouldn't be to the point where they have to offer, offer partial refunds. And to me, that says that they aren't doing so hot as a convention overall, that there's some financial impropriety going on that we don't know about. Now, I had mentioned to Lifty, and this was sort of a joke. Um, that, hey, it could be possible that Growly was funding FWA all these years, given how much he super sponsors. <laughs> now, because of all this, it's not so far-fetched when you think about it. Ooh. Because I don't know, because not only does has that guy super sponsored, he also donates to the conventions that he attends. Um, I don't know how much he donates, but I know he, he, he donates enough to where... He his indiscretions were overlooked for years, so that tells me something. Um, so, if I'm a regular person, I would go on FWA's website 
and I would look at their finances, and I would ask for their finances. Oh, Jesus Jesus. fucking Christ. You think they're actually going to publicize any fucking legal documents that are actually truthful? No, understand this. Understand this. It does not matter. You who's really sitting there auditing this fucking financial trail? It's one of them, okay? All these fucking basement dwelling fur fags that have nothing better to do but embezzle money from the organization and think and pad their fucking bottom dollar. They don't give a fuck about the organization itself. Not one of them do. Oh so gosh. what stops them from be- embezzling money from from the from the donations and from the registrations? That's why this 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 uh, convention is failing, is because. The money is going in places it shouldn't be. They're going to falsify those documents and publicize them as being truth. I know it. It happened so many fucking times before. And how I know this happens is because I've seen it done before in a local volunteer fire department that has went under and over several fucking times. Different leaders get introduced into the organization to try to uplift it and keep it from going under. And then you get that one fucking bad egg that turns everybody else sour, starts embezzling money, stealing And destroys everything that so many people before have built and created to be something very well known and very popular. And quite frankly, in the furry community, we all know FWA. It is a very popular convention and it has become a very special event in most of our hearts. Not mine, but the people who do love FWA. Yeah, get some drugs there. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. But <laughs> it's because of these fucking horrible people that are running this con that are doing untruthful things and illegal things with the funds that they're supposed to protect and manage. It's because this that it's because of them that this con is failing. They're allocating money and resources in areas that should have never seen a single red cent. You know you're doing something wrong. You know what you've done is illegal. But because this is a community that is constantly overlooked by government officials, you know you can get away with it. And you do. I'm calling your bullshit now. There's not much I can do about it. Yes, I work in law enforcement. I'm no longer a sworn officer. However, if I find out of any sort of concrete evidence, don't think I'll be the, I won't be the first one to fucking report it to some sort of internal affairs. And guess what? It would probably be the last day that F- FWA ever, ever comes back to uh, to fruition to this 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 God for fucking sake and state that we call Georgia. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully the people that are running it, hopefully the people that are running it and are guilty of said actions, probably be brought to justice and their ass has been thrown behind bars or, you know, all the money they stolen, fined. I, I don't know how it would, how it would happen. But if I find out that there's concrete evidence of any sort of, sort of embezzlement or theft of money, what have you, believe it. I'll be the first one on that fucking podium stand saying they need to be convicted. They need to be tried. They need to be charged. <laughs> wow, you are great. just on fire tonight. I don't Yeah, yeah this is a um, I've been awake great. and working for over 18 hours today. I am tired, I am cranky, and I just want people to get fucking real and and wise up because the bullshit that this community is going through right now is childish. You are grown men and women and whatever the hell else you identify as. Wow, he's taking my yeah. phrases now. Grown, grown ass men and women. Okay, not that <laughs> but, I don't no, care. There, it's there, nice seeing you cranky. Holy shit! There's more details. There's more scummy details regarding the dealer system and the and the registration refunds. So they also mention that you will have to pay more to secure a booth for the next year if you decide to roll over your refund, and also. It is noted that if you don't act on your refund, the money that you paid to FWA is automatically donated. Your registration is not rolled over. It is donated back to the convention. Bullshit. Oh, no, that's what they said. No, I know it. I see it. And yeah, that's bullshit. Every other convention that has to do refunds, they are saying if you don't act, it will be automatically rolled over to next year. Your registration yeah, is rolled over. That's how it Why should be. Why are they doing this shit? That's how oh, it yeah. fucking so should no, be. This is great. I'm loving this because FWA to me has always been a shitty convention that does 
there's more interesting shit outside of the Marriott Marquis Atlanta at FWA than there is in that fucking hotel I every mean, fucking year. I mean, it's nothing but a oh. fuck con. It is. It has been nothing but a fuck con. Everybody just goes there to fuck and do and drugs. Now, yeah, and do drugs because it's like right there, <laughs> five minutes, five minutes from the. From the fucking door. It's fucking Sin drunk. City, Atlanta. Who gives a shit what happens in Atlanta? You can go outside and breathe the air, and fucking immediately you've got AIDS. Oh, wow, y'all are just tearing into Georgia and Atlanta tonight. Good Dude, Lord. seriously, look at the fucking reports there. on the CDC. There are more people in Atlanta, Georgia, living with AIDS than any part of the fucking country. Do you understand that? It is a fucking disgusting cesspool of a city. It needs to just go away. Make like the fucking city of the lost city of Atlantis and just disappear. Because quite frankly, nobody gives a fuck. The lost city of Atlantis. I like I like this um I like this attitude of yours. I do too. I do too. I like we, when you're real. Hey, That's you know awesome. what? Hey, you know what? I would love to see Atlanta and the Georgia State House and that uh in that uh, in that statue of Jimmy Carter asking for a fiver to just be down thirty thousand leaves under the sea, I would not give a shit about Atlanta. Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter is a shitty president, and he's what? A, and it, there's a there is a statue of him okay. begging for money at the Georgia State House. What's wrong, with Jimmy? Carter? It is shameful, absolutely shameful. Okay. He gave it... away he gave away our greatest, most strategic sea asset back to Panamania. What the? Seriously, this yes. coming this coming from a Panamanian. Yes, was... I know, and I disagree. Wow. From an okay. American standpoint, we should have kept that. It was because Jimmy Carter wanted to give it away. I'm not touching this. What I will say, because <laughs> I'll say something inappropriate. What I will say though is, are you going to call me the N word? No. What I will say is, FWA. Um, I have never been to that convention. I have no desire to go to that convention. Well, maybe just to check it out. But FWA seems like a, a decent con. However, I have decent. heard. Yes, decent. I have. Yes, no, I have, it's a clusterfuck. I, w I wouldn't know. I have heard that they tend to do some weird things with the staff and administration. Um, their whole stunt last year with a billboard was very. Um, in my in my view, show offy and unneeded and serve no purpose because one, the amount of furries that live in Atlanta is pretty small, and you but have no need to. But they want to bring in the families. They're a family it's friendly F convention. No, it's not. It's FWA. People fuck there and go there to get fucking high. I Lifty. know. I Who know. Do, what family I... would go there? Crackheads. This isn't Disney World or, or fucking Six Flags in, in Prince George's Mama County. June. Okay. Mama June. Mama June would take her kids to FWA. Well, she's a fucking retard and a bad mother, okay? <laughs> yes. Yes. I said that. I don't give a fuck. My point is this FWA, there is clearly some shit going on that I personally can't prove, but I know bullshit when I see it. I know a convention in PA that's full of shit. All right. <laughs> and I call and I called his and I knew his shit stank. Back in June, before his shit even went public, okay, all right, and I was correct. About Are you that. talking about? Yes, that convention. Okay. All right, all right. So something's going on here. Not like I said, none of us can prove it, but something's going on because it makes no sense that this convention can only give back fifteen bucks, but Anfrocon and all these other conventions, smaller than FWA. Are doing full refunds, so something's up. And well, don't lie to me and tell me it's a contract dispute. Bullshit. It's no, not no, a fucking no. contract dispute. It's You're stealing definitely... money off the top, and you think nobody's noticing that shit. You think we can't find it out. You think we can't, you know, search through the files. Someone's gonna figure it out, and your ass is gonna be in trouble. You know who you are. Well, That's you know what? Saying. You know what? Whatever happened to the budget that they had accumulated from the sales from 2019? That's what. That's what I'm not hearing people asking. Like, where is that budget? They you should it. have had a budget. You should have had a budget. Everything should have been budgeted for 2020 back in 2019. And you should have been spending for the convention back then. Not right now. And what's, what's even more noticeable is that they, in the letter that they, that they sent on their tele or excuse me, their Twitter account, they 
they specified that uh, they canceled their they canceled the convention on March 16th. On March 7th was the final day to request a full refund from FWA. So what does this tell you about FWA? They knew what they were doing and they did. Yeah, exactly. They were they were planning on this for a little while. They were just they were just sitting on their, you know, their ass just watching things happen. And even even then you could actually track the number of coronavirus cases. So coronavirus was kind of like a it, it, it made things a little more convenient for them. It was a convenience because the first case of coronavirus in Georgia actually happened in Fulton County in Georgia on March the 2nd. So if it didn't scare them, shit was going on fire in Washington state that the coronavirus was spreading in Washington state, in California, in all these places in the West, it was spreading in Chicago. It was slowly creeping its way to the East Coast. And then on March the 2nd, it hit their state. It hit their backyard. And they decided to sit on their hands. Oh, yeah, they decided no, to continue to run the business as usual until March 16th when they decided we got to close this down for the quote, quote unquote safety and health of our members. And even worse was that they did not decide to excuse me, announce that they were giving a quote unquote partial refund until a month later, over a month later. So what does that tell you about FWA? That they're not upfront, they're not forthright. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't give a fuck what you think. They will gladly take your money. FWA, FWA I've only been to FWA once. It's a shitty convention. It was my very first furry convention and it was the worst experience I ever had. So if they go under from this, I don't give a fuck. I will fucking tap dance on their motherfucking grave for all I give a shit. And for anybody who's listening to this and they're burnt or they're bummed out that they're only getting a partial refund from FWA, do this. Go talk to your bank. Go talk to your credit card provider. Charge that shit back. Tell FWA, if you're not giving me a full refund, you're talking to my bank about it. And then do it. Get your bank involved. Get all your money back. Let them bleed out by a thousand cuts for all I give a shit. Because they brought this on themselves. They are being shady as shit and they deserve to suffer. They've been probably doing this for years and people have never known about it. People have just you know, made the plans. Oh, I'm going to go to FWA. Have a great time. You know, get a nice dick sack, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> now, it's, coming, it, it's all coming out. It's all in going to be in the open soon. I'm pretty sure somebody's going to be doing some digging on FWA's finances. Their finances got to be published publicly. You can look this shit up on, on the IRS website. And you can probably audit the shit yourself. You can look into, you know, how they're spending the money, how it's budgeted. But I wouldn't take their word for anything. Instead, I'd let them handle your bank. I'd let, I'd just talk to straight to your bank. Have them talk to your bank and see if they can wrangle the money back from the bank. And then I'm done. <laughs> okay, moving on. Um, let's go talk about uh, Diesel Raccoon. Okay, oh boy. so Diesel Raccoon, where to start? So Diesel Raccoon is a... Cunt. What? He's a diaper fur. Wait, he's a okay. cunt. Oh, I thought you said cut. I'm like, okay. No, he's a cunt. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah he's a cunt. Um, so Diesel Raccoon is probably best known for, besides being a diaper fur and asking for soggy diapers at MFF, um, he's most notable for um, posting on Twitter, and I quote, Is it wrong for me to feel a bit nervous when I'm at Walmart late at night surrounded by all black people? 
I'm not racist. And then following said tweet up, just feel like they are all watching me. One more reason to carry my gun. Okay, I'm getting my concealed carry permit and carry my 45. This black guy flipped, accusing me of following him in the store. This is who you're dealing with, folks. This is the same guy who has a weird, confusing boner for Mike Pence, despite being a soggy diaper-loving faggot of a motherfucker. Okay? The same guy who probably wants to be shocked by Mike Pence is a degenerate, for God's sakes. This person also likes to give hot takes on Twitter, such as claiming, and I quote, the coronavirus is nothing more than a flu, we should open up, or something to that effect. I really don't care. Oh, I'm yeah, paraphrasing were, at that point. That's were, what they said. No, they were salty about Anthrocon canceling their event that they went on Twitter to say, you know, hey, we should wake the fuck up. Because the coronavirus is nothing more than a flu. More people die from the flu. We should open up. We shouldn't be doing this. What a fucking moron. More people die from the flu and AIDS and, and racism. We should open up. You know what? To all the people who, who, have, that th who have that mindset of more people die from XYZ than this, you are part of the problem of why this country is the way it's going right now with this virus. You're a part <laughs> of the fucking problem. So okay? I see. You and your one-track mind who want to be there and be so smart and think you have all the fucking answers when you really don't, okay? So this may not be the flu, but it's very deadly, all right? You would not be happy if I got the coronavirus and got your mima or your parents sick and they died from the coronavirus. What gives you the fuck to sit there and say... Oh, well, I don't want to do social distancing. Fuck that. Oh, if I get corona, I get corona. It's not going to affect me. People like that are shit. And you know what? They deserve to get corona. And you know what? This is going to sound really fucked up, but I'm at the point where I don't give a fuck. I hope one of their family members gets corona. All right? I hope you have to deal with that shit personally. Because people like you put my family members in danger with that laissez-faire bullshit attitude of, oh, well, it's just the flu. It's not going to kill anybody. So fuck you. Fuck your family. And you know what? When your mommy, daddy, or grandma is lying there on the fucking ventilator, I hope you think about what you said about being just the fucking flu. Because it's not. The, th the funny thing is, is I'd love to see how this stupid little boy fares. You know, this fucking squish, sludge-loving little twink-ass motherfucker. I I'd love to see how contagious a bullet is uh, for him when he goes to the projects of fucking Detroit, Michigan. And say he's, he's surrounded by his oh-so-scary black guys. <laughs> yeah, you, you really think that where you live is that bad, little boy? Let me let me tell you something. So you go to Detroit, you go there, and you're surrounded by all the people that make you quiver at night. You you find out who, what's what's really scary. The coronavirus that you think is not not much of a big deal, or when you're really 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 fucked. And then you know what? It's kind of cool how it works up there. Those guys, a lot of them are the true thug life. A lot of them are. And they can smell your fear all over the place. And that's the one time you probably wish you hadn't shit yourself. Because they can smell it a mile away and they're going to hone in on you. And yeah, they're probably, they're probably going to kill you. Because one, you're a racist fuck. You probably deserve to be strung up. Two, you have some very interesting fetishes that I even find repulsive. And three, you're ignorant. Your ignorance right there is, is, is detrimental in so many ways. What you fail to see is how horrible not only that you make yourself look, but the name that you made for yourself and also the people who followed you and were either inspired by your interests and the name that you've created and they, they never expected you to say what you've said and then they felt stupid for even believing in you so not only have you basically killed yourself but you've you've killed people that have uh you know believed in you and and followed you because you're that stupid so honestly 
do us all a favor. Disappear into the depths of fucking Detroit and see how long you last against them. Because really then, you're, you're going to hope that you did have a damn gun. Because you won't even make it outside the door without getting fucking shanked, you pussy bitch. Now, it's funny. See, this person, when I'm reading his tweets, there's a good chance that he might have joined all these open rallies that are rallying local governments and state governments to open the state back up from the stay-at-home restrictions. What are the chances he was in those? Pretty high. Yeah, pretty high. I mean, look how so dumb he, he looks. Have the corona. Just by being care. in these large crowds, pro- protesting. You know what? Good, good. Damn. And I hope he passes it off to his boyfriend too. And I hope he passes it off to his family as well. Good. I'm at the point where people like that, I have zero sympathy for. If they catch it, if they die from it, if their families get it, because those people are really ignorant. And like I said, they are part of the problem. They are part of the problem. What is it with conservatives and diapers? Like, have you noticed this shit? Like, diesel. It's a fantasy. They conserve their poop. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Let's. No, we're not going to talk about poop because I don't want. So here's here's the here's the funny (laughs) thing here. It's funny that you even bring that up. So I I have more of a conservative view. I'm I'm I I lean I lean more Republican. You know. Yeah. Thing is, is that. Well, I, I took a fucking test, apparently, and I, I, I apparently identify, according to this stupid plot graph or whatever it is, I identify as a fucking a right um, co- uh, communitarian. So apparently I'm a fucking communist. I, I don't know. This fucking graph is broken. But whatever. I don't give a fuck. So is Reagan, because Reagan was even more radical right than I was, and he was more of a communitarian than I was, apparently, according to this graph. But anyway, moving on from the fucking point. No, no. Fucking conservatives aren't always interested in pooping and, and saving the poop. You know what it is? It's it's you fucking weirdos that have absolutely no idea what their their actual political beliefs is. They're actually just they're jumping on the bandwagon. Everybody else is doing it. You get one fucking diaper fur that that identifies as a Republican, and suddenly every other fucking diaper loving fucking squish boy is falling right behind. It's the same thing with My Little Pony and the fact that it attracts that kind of crowd, the conservative crowd. I don't know why it attracted that, but it does. You see the same thing. It happens. That's not saying that all conservatives or conservatives tend to enjoy My Little Pony. It just so happens that their viewer base or the the ones who are more active in the fandom and vocal tend to align that way. Yeah. And I'm the least political motherfucker on this damn podcast. So you, you people who who frequent it already know that anytime these two these two twats start fucking talking about politics, I start to shut down because I start I'm just, I'm just like blah 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 Trump 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 Obama 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 whatever the fuck their name is whatever the fuck their name is whoever the fuck they talk about on a daily basis. This is me speaking to you, uh, Lift in Silox just for a second. Because you, you guys piss me off sometimes when you start talking about fucking politics. You really do. Because there's already enough political fucking talk shows and, and podcasts that we really fucking need to make this one only a political th- podcast. Yeah, politics is good to talk about once in, a, once in a fucking blue moon. But we're here to call out the bullshit of the furry fandom. Not point out their political uh, purviews. These guys, who gives a fuck who they root for? For all I care, all the fucking diaper furs probably love Hillary Clinton because she's just, she smells just as uh, shitty as they do. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't, whoa, 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 whoa. What? Whoa. Are you going to stifle damn, me? I mean, damn. I mean, I what? Wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't cut down Diesel like that, man. I mean, I have a little bit of. What? I got Respect little... for him? You no. respect that piece of shit? Then, then what are you trying to defend? I'm just saying that's a little. You're bit just saying too, that too, you. That's too low of the belt. No, no, it's not. Belt. This motherfucker's a racist. There's no low of the belt from people like that. Holy shit! Calling him Hillary though. There's no. There's worse, but uh. <laughs> no, I'm gonna be quite honest. Black guys scare me too. They're bigger than me. What the fuck, man? Black. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're short. But you're stockier. You still could beat me up. Wait, 
You think I can fight? Are you serious? It doesn't matter if you can fight. You're just bigger than me. What? I may you be. I may be taller. I, what? Fucking Solix. He, he's he's pretty. No, I no, can't he even. Can't, he can't pick me fight. Up. Anybody. It, it don't Dude, matter. Lifty could kick my ass in a fight if he wanted to. I don't even know how to punch uh, I, somebody. I don't know about that. I can yeah. see I can see Lifty getting out of breath well, with I'm even the, standing well, I'm up. Trying oh, to be nice. I'm trying to be nice to him. <laughs> of course he would lose in a fight against me. Everybody knows that. But no. no. Here, here's what I would love to see. Seriously? You, you want to see what we're going to No, 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 no. I want to see you versus Turn. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, One, that Turn would be hot. Turn a big dude. <laughs> Turn would probably <laughs> kick my ass, then, because he's bigger than me. Yeah, he he's, is, he's, he's, like a, he's pretty big. He's like a fucking bear. Oh, yeah, he kicked yeah. my ass, then. There, there, that's not but a it would it would be it would be hot to see you get pummeled and put down on the ground and your face down in the in the dirt with your ass raised up high and turns on top of you even though he's a big ass subby bottom. What you find that you find that hot? What oh fuck yeah, I find that hot. Why is that hot to you? Because I love I love to see dudes get like fucking beat up and dominated. I'm what? kind of a sadist. Oh my god! I'm kidding. I'm fucking that, kidding. Isn't that rape? No. no. What? <laughs> <laughs> Lifty, at no point did he say he wants to see me have sex or get fucked in the ass. So how is I that just, rape? I just want to see Psylocke get dang. I just want to that see Psylocke get dominated. sex all the right. time, Exactly. Lifty. Me stepping on Trip is me dominating him, okay? That's not... There's no sex involved. No, that's, that's not rape. That's, that's you squishing him because Trip is tiny. Yes, but You're... see, that wouldn't... By the way, Trip is gay. And you have but big that feet. wouldn't be... Pause, but yes, that wouldn't be rape, though. Okay, that's just dominating. Rape. The only and... time it's rape is if it's actually non-consent, uh, non-consensual. So yes, I mean, it, like... it, 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 you, you took that far out of context so you again. you have to. So you have to agree before the uh. fight. Loser gets. Loser has to bottom. What? Wait, what? No. No. First it's of it's all, all the it all depends that. on who who doesn't have the physical stamina to actually withstand uh like a full confrontation. Obviously, Turn's gonna win a fucking fight against Silox because Silox is a pathetic little bitch. Excuse me. Damn. <laughs> you want to say that to my face? Silox at the knees, uh, man. I mean, He's already short enough, man. <laughs> fuck you. You want to say that to my face? I mean, I did at F, uh, at FTM. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. I said, "How you doing, short stuff?" And you said, "What? What'd you say?" It's like hey, you ain't gonna do shit. I will do shit. You, you'll find out. <laughs> you see, lucky for you, I'm not a violent person. I don't subscribe to violence. Lucky for you. Okay. Ergo, you're not going to do shit. I will confront you, and I will write you a stern you, letter. I'm going to force you to debate me. You were the author of that fucking note on, on FA. I knew it. I fucking knew it. It had to have been done by someone petty. Oh, fuck you. It's <laughs> not me. <laughs> you dumb... Oh my god, he makes me so angry. God... <laughs> I, and I can't do anything about it because he's so far away. I can't confront him when this is over. Am I driving two hours to tell him, fuck you like that? It makes no sense. Fuck. <laughs> shut up, Lifty. Don't laugh. What? what I do? Because you made a comment earlier, so shut up. I'm mad at you too. About what? You, you, I, don't worry about it. You said some stuff, so I'm mad at you also. Uh, what did I say? What did I say? I don't remember because I have early onset Alzheimer's, but you said some yeah, shit. Yeah, me too. Go figure. Okay. Before this turns into let's see Silox get beat up and dominated and butt fucked, um, let's real quickly talk about that demon dude. Um, that that one, one demon dude. God, I need glasses. That one demon dude. Um, so basically what had happened was Finn Energy um, decided to call out that one demon dude, or Jackie Demon, um, for allowing a minor to be in their Not Safe for Work Discord. Um, as it turned out, Jackie at the time thought that 16 was not considered to be a minor in the eyes of the law and pretty much brushed aside any criticism that was levied his way by his other co-owner of said chat. Now, it just so happens that me and Jackie um, do have... Well, we've sex. Had, no. We've had a... Sex. No, no, no. They, no. they didn't have sex. No. We've but, had a relationship, but not not like that. But we used sex. to talk. 
No, the guy has a boyfriend. So you had an acquaintance with him. Yes, an acquaintanceship. That okay. pretty much amounted to him only really liking me for my fursuit and only wanting to... And sex. No, interact with me because of my fursuit, um, which really sucked, by the way. So he pretty much has been talking to me and begging me to reinstate him in the local chat, and I'm, I'm just not having it. You know, anybody who is that passe about the idea of a minor being in a not-safe-for-work chat is very sketch. And to me, his apology only came across as being sorry because he got caught, not being sorry because he actually realized, oh shit, 16 is really a minor in the eyes of the law, and fucking hell, I can get in trouble for that, for having a minor in a not-safe-for-work situation. Um, so... This person is very weird. Um, <laughs> he has a weird obsession with birds. Uh, I don't know why. Um, like I said, he honestly only really likes people because of their fursuits. He lost one friend because he felt like he only interacted with people because of their fursuits. Um, yeah, he is a very strange individual. And so... In my opinion, if you ever come across him, do not engage. Um, run away and yeah, hide your kids, I, yeah. hide your wife, and hide everybody because they're coming around and raping everybody. Well, I see what has been released between Fenergy and the chat logs on Discord about uh, Jackie the Demon. Um, this person obviously. They thought it was okay to bring in a 16-year-old to a, a, uh, a Discord stream or Discord server, whatever you want to call it, that also has not safe for work channels in it. He, it, it doesn't specify that he actually brought the 16-year-old into those not safe for work spaces. But here's the really sketchy part. He actually admitted in these chat logs that he thought that it was okay to bring in a 16 year old because back when he was 16, the same thing happened to him and he thought it was all okay. He even says, I wouldn't have been a furry artist. I wouldn't exist. Those two extra fucking years did fuck all to the way I acted. This is where I slam the brakes on this shit because this is why he thinks 16 is over the age of consent. It's not in the eyes. First of all, this person is a Marylander. In the eyes of Maryland law, 18 is the age of consent. And this isn't about when you are mature enough to make decisions. No, it is, it is thought more of as a ceiling. Think about it more as a ceiling as at what point do kids not make decisions for themselves when at what point does the law have to step in to make decisions because kids are dumb kids are stupid kids are going to say all kinds of shit and do all kinds of shit getting into random shit all the fucking time at what age do we need to set it so that after this age they can do whatever they want and be responsible in the law 45 because quite frankly, there's a bunch of you that are in your right. 30s and still don't got your fucking shit straight because you guys are fucking pathetic and don't know the fucking difference between a hole in the ground and your ass. Um, it, it, it's, I yeah, know, but I would is... say 45, not no, no. not 18. No, no, you, you're not allowed to have sex with anyone until they're over 45 years old. That's that's the age you can say. Really? Now. Really, IBM? Yeah. And, and my, and... get... 45? Mm -hmm. No, shut up. What? 16 is well below the age of consent. And if you think about yeah. it more as, you know, at what age should the law step in to be a proxy for all the shitty, stupid decisions that kids can get themselves into, then yeah, it makes perfect sense why 18 is the age of consent in Maryland. Not 16, not 15, whatever the hell you think, no. 45. This, is, this dude, whoever this, <laughs> Jack, this one demon dude, this jacket the demon if he comes up to you it, especially if you're a fursuiter because he pays attention to fursuiters more often than you know just randos oh, he I'd... probably wrote that note to that one guy on um furry omegle night 
Tell that guy to get fucked. Fuck. In fact, here's here's my message to what's his name? That one demon dude. Whoever yeah, the fuck you are. Jackie Demon. Yeah. All right, dude. All right. You join the fandom because you like fursuits. That's fucking cool. You want to socialize with only fursuiters. How about this? The one of the little fuckers that you avoided and didn't talk to and decided that you were going to be an asshole to ends up getting a nice, really fucking nice fursuit that you fall in love with. And they're going to remember your stinky ass as the dumb fuck that really, really pissed them off, ignored them, and cast them aside. How are you going to feel then? Oh, you hate me. You're ignoring me. But I love you because I love your suit. Ah, uh, yeah, get fucked, you pathetic little excuse for a fucking human being. Why don't you crawl up your mother's fucking cooch and die? Okay? Guess what? You're not as important or fucking special as you think you are. And your mother lied to you. You are a waste of skin. You are a waste of time. And quite frankly, you're costing the taxpayers money for even existing. You need to fade away. <laughs> damn but no this person is a creep and everybody should be staying away from him i mean he's he's already been banned from the maryland first chat if that's um if that's not a uh a big enough warning for local furs in this area so yeah if this person thinks you know 16 is the age of consent he's gonna get himself in trouble honestly i'm gonna see him I'm going to see him on a, on an episode of To Catch a Predator one of these days where he's, you know, sexting with some 16-year-old. Yeah, he's and he's going to go up to – he's going to he's gonna tell Chris Hansen, oh, no, you're wrong. See, 16 is the age of consent. And everybody's going to be like, no, you dumb fuck. That reminds me of that guy, Conrad Nader Coover, that, that, that lived up in your neck of the woods there lifting. What? Who? Conrad Nader Coover was a was a resident of Arlington. No, he Actually, wasn't. huh? No, he wasn't. Yeah, he was. No, he wasn't. I mm. remember what you're talking about, and you're wrong. Mm-hmm. Are you sure? Yes. Now shut the fuck up. Are you, are, are you positive? One hundred and ten percent. I got his I got his OLN right here in front of me. No, you don't. He's in McLean. That's not Arlington. It close to damn enough. No, it's not. No. It really, it really no, is. No, no. But that—that's the guy that went all the way down to Florida to have sex with thirteen-year-old. Yeah, he—he was—he was pretty gross too. Yeah, he looked like a fucking caveman. Didn't he have a unibrow? Hold thing? up! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Did you just say McLean? Yeah, McLean. Yep. It's McLean. Virginia. <laughs> you serious right now? Are you serious that you're going to make a big deal about how I pronounce it? Yes, it's it? McC... Okay, okay. You're not lifty, so I won't make a scene. It's fine. We all have her. It's fine. Remember that I'm not from Virginia. Where are you from? Pittsburgh. Oh, that's right. I keep thinking you're from, like, the South. Mm. Yeah, you, do, do me a favor before you start really really judging how i pronounce fucking names in virginia okay because yes. first of all there's a county called buchanan that looks like it's spelled buchanan okay, okay. Yes. boda tort county is actually pronounced bada tot fucking explain that shit to me before you start judging how i pronounce shit why don't you look at it, some of the fucking rivers and some of the state uh, uh, counties and some of the fucking towns that exist up in western PA? Allegheny, which is easy. Monongahela, Yakagany, all that shit. Look how it's spelt. And you tell me how you really pronounce it, even though I just fucking told you. I, really. I think I could pronounce some of them well. We, we have some weird sounding places in Maryland, too. Not a lot, but we have some. Conoingo! That's not one of them. That's yeah, it is. easy to pronounce. If you can't pronounce that, I... That's fun, though. The, you find saying... Conolingo! That sounds like a brand of RVs that nobody should buy. That's going to be our plug for next week. Oh my god, I want to kill myself already. Good lord. Are you really going to plug Con the Conolingo dam now? No, it's a brand okay. of RVs that nobody wants to buy. You <sighs> said it yourself. I need alcohol. I need alcohol. I can't with you. Okay.
Look at I that mean, there, and you tell me how you sp- you pronounce that. That's a real river. It, that's the name of a real river in Pennsylvania. I'm, 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 you high mahogany. What'd you say? You high mahogany. No, you dumbass. It's Yachagany. What the fuck? What? Yachagany. There's no, there's, there's no C in there. No, that, it's Yachagany. Yachagany. What? There's yeah. no K in there. What the fuck? <laughs> what? So now you gonna fucking sit there and make fun of the way I say goddamn whoa, 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 McLean? Whoa, whoa. I was not making it... fun. I was just correcting you. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry for fun. anybody who lives in you in Yu-Gi-Oh Honey River, whatever. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh we're to, Honey. We're going to butcher your place so badly in this podcast. So for those now. of you who don't know what fucking Yakagani, okay, it's spelled Y O U G H I O G H E N Y. It looks like it's supposed to, just like Lifty said, Yu-Gi-Oh Gany. No, it's Yaka Gany. I said Yu-Gi-Oh, honey. Yeah. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh, honey. <laughs> Our names aren't even that creative. Like, there's what? Patuxent, Potomac, Patapsco. Seagirt. That's... <laughs> no. As, I, as I've said before... Get I was, fucked! Fuck you. As I've said before, and I will say again, I do not associate with Seagirt niggas, and I do not fuck with Dundalk, so do not think that I'm from Seagirt or Dundalk. Okay. You what are from Dundalk. It doesn't mean you, you may not we're, think so, but you definitely Jimmy's. are. I was born in Baltimore City. I'm not, I'm not from Dundalk. Which means you're That's triple ghetto. Worse. Who are you calling ghetto? You. I am the least ghetto person you will probably ever meet. I am not ghetto. Mm, no. Okay. See, you're going to learn real soon. You so, you just turn the fucking ghetto sp- a switch on. Look at you. you just play. <laughs> I'm gonna show you what ghetto means. Keep it up. Gonna Are you gonna start out. flapping your arms or your your hands like a seal? Er, er. What? Why are you so mean? <laughs> oh my god! You see this, Lifty? He is so mean to me. So so how He's you know someone's rating, so. how how you know someone's ghetto is whenever like when they're trying to fucking make a point, they have to like clap their hands like God damn you fucking I B M Y you gotta fuck. Oh, I don't do that shit. That's weird. I don't get that. I, I just, I, I'm i not a seal. I don't go orf, 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 clap my hand. I don't do the that. The very same people use the clap emoji no, between every no. single word in their tweets. Exactly. Rakesha, but I know it's you. No. Psylocke, you're not that ghetto. You're a different kind of ghetto. You smack your okay. lips, suck your teeth. I don't. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. I don't. Yes, oh, you do. By the way, um, and if you're not clapping your hands, you're clapping your ass cheeks. I don't do- excuse me, <laughs> do I have, don't do that. Do we have like a few minutes to uh, do just one yes. more rant. Yeah, one more. Okay, so this is very simple. So recently, very very recently, Elon Musk and his girlfriend Grimes welcomed their baby child to the world. Just recently, did you say his girlfriend Rick Grimes? No, his his girlfriend Grimes. Grimes. His girlfriend name is Grimes. Okay, Rick Grimes. (laughs) So anyway, they uh, (laughs) they welcomed a new baby boy into the world after much speculation, and um, here's the thing, though, Elon, congratulations on having a a beautiful baby child, healthy, young, wonderful. Thank, welcome to the joys of parenthood. Do you name the kid that. Tesla? No. Here's where I'm going to be worse. fucking ranting about him. No, this person decided to name him uh, X I A dash twelve. Hold up. Hold up. It's way worse than Tesla. I <laughs> see. I'm so... just saying. I wish it was Tesla. So this proves that naming your children dumb shit is universal and not just a one a one race thing. Um, this is this might be one of the worst names you can name a child. Not naming not name Hitler. Uh, it, it's it's stupid, but it's not surprising. Uh, there. Try to pronounce that. 
Deus Ex Machina. That's what I got. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna call the child Deus Deus Ex Machina. I, I'm gonna just call the child Shavakadu. I, I, I don't give a shit. Are we gonna free Shavakadu or some shit? <laughs> no, Shavakadu is gonna free himself from the <laughs> Musk household. <laughs> Look, as long as he doesn't name his next baby Rayquaza, we I, I don't care what he names his children. All right, because Rayquaza no, is my kid's name, and if he takes that, we go and throw hands. As I no, told no, him. no. You know what? We were talking about shitty names earlier in this podcast, and I'm pretty sure I have a one percent chance. There's a one percent chance that Elon Musk was listening to our podcast, listening to that very same episode in the Maternity Award, and then he took a hit of his he 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 smacked a he smacked a blunt, and then when the doctor came in and said, "What will you be naming the child?" He went. Honey, hold my blunt. And then you get this shit. I think he's trolling people. Why X I A twelve. A dash twelve. Watch the name changes to something really dumb like Xavier or Xavier, whatever the fuck it's pronounced. Xavier is better than this shit. He's trolling y'all. I'm, I'm just you. trying to fucking understand why this fucking deranged mother is even agreeing that this is a good thing to name her child. Because, it's grime. because she's a dumb bitch too. She you looks ever tried, scary. You, you ever tried hearing Grimes? She talks in radio static. So you mean I'm, like? Hi, my name is Grimes. I'm like no, I'm Elon no. Musk's girlfriend. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, I mean, her communication consists of dial-up tones. That's it. So this is going to sound fucked up, but at, I'm at the point where I don't care. This is exactly why we have abortion in this country and why it should be 100% on demand. So kids can not have to deal with shitty-ass names like Deus Ex Machina or whatever, the, however you fuck you spell X. Yeah, okay? Because that is a <laughs> terrible this disgusting name right there. You are screwing your child over for the future by naming him Deus Ex Machina or whatever the pronunciation of that name is. This is this horrible. Is, this, I mean, this is well, he, he's going to grow up rich first and foremost. Let's just get that out of the way. But this is also going to guarantee that he's going to get into an emo state and then just going to be like, I hate you, mom and dad, and then just try to move out. My life sucks. My parents don't understand me. They name me X A E A twelve, and kids at school call me D S S Machina. Like, uh, uh. so according to Business Insider, um, the the name actually means well, this is speculation, but it means X Ash Archangel, like you said, um, which. Elon Musk actually liked this post on on Twitter, so it was not really, excuse me, it wasn't um, actually confirmed if that's what it meant or not. But the fact that he liked it means probably this guy was onto something. X Ash Archangel. That what a dumbass name. I'm yeah. sorry, that's yeah. a dumb name. You know what? At that point, just name your kid like Braylon or or some fancy uh, trailer park trash white person name at that point. Like who, what, who the fuck was going to name their kid X Ash Archangel? That's a you know, dumb name. Uh, is it a, it's a boy, right? Unfortunately. Yeah. Yes. I would have named it Leslie. Okay. No, no, no. Leslie is unisex. Oh my gosh. Leslie is a unisex name. You know what else is unisex? Please don't say it. You're Pat. Right? Yeah, that's true. That's true. So you ever, have you ever seen the movie Pat? It's like a 1990s movie, Pat. It was, it's about this fucking uh, very androgynous male-female thing that I guess the, the, the antagonist of the fucking story was trying to figure out who the, what, like, what the fuck it was. Anytime that Pat was in the bathroom taking a piss, the fucking neighbor's trying to peek through the window trying to see its dick. So it was... That is, first of all, a that, movie and an SNL sketch that cannot exist in this day and age. I, and you're right, and that's the thing. People made fun of it back in, and it was okay. Now, the, the, the sheer mention of, Oh my god, you, you put me in a gender category. How fucking dare you? I'm gonna mail. Okay, um... Whatever. Yeah. 
so so fucking hate me. So fucking I don't, hate me. I, I don't hate you. It's not it's not me that's gonna hate you. It's I don't give people. a fuck. I know you don't care. It's not like I'm sitting here tell, saying that I hate them for being what they are. I, I don't I give know. a crap. I here's here's my philosophy on it. You can do whatever the fuck you want so long as you keep me out of it. I don't give a shit. I'm just here gonna fucking speak my mind like I have a right to do. Elon, here are some suggestions for names that you can consider renaming your child with. Uh, first of all, Nicola. You know, so it works with Tesla. No. Okay. Um, Rayquaza. No. No, fuck that. And I also pronounced it correctly. There we go. It's Rayquaza. No, it's Rayquaza. It's Rayquaza, you uncultured bitch. Okay. Your real name? <laughs> no, no, you dingus. No. What's your real name? Don't worry about it. Come on, tell me your real name. I'm not gonna dox myself over the fucking internet. No. Oh, I know what your I know what your real name is. I found it. It's Keandra. Excuse me. <laughs> Do I look like a female to you? Female. What about Keanu? Wait, wait, wait. Why would you Why would you put yourself in a label like that? You just you see what you did there. What did I do? You identified as a male because you said you had. Because I am a male. I are you like sure women. about that? I like men, but yeah. Are, are you, wait, yes. are you? Are, no, no, you can't do that. No, Silox, you're, you're triggering me. See, are I'm you triggered right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm offended. I'm 100 male. But, okay, so male. for for those of you who don't know, my name is Karen. I am the the summoner of district managers, and I want to <laughs> <laughs> and I want to speak. <laughs> Oh my I god. Want to, I want to speak to your supervisor, sir. Oh my god. Can we can we end this cuz he's Yeah, all right. He, so, with that said, it is time to end. Thank you very much for joining us on this podcast. If you love what you hear, please feel free to like, comment and subscribe to our videos on YouTube. <laughs> and stop whispering. IVM stop whispering, please. And um, if you love our shenanigans, please feel free to follow us on Twitter at Furry Frequency. We're starting to release new uh, new polls uh, on our Furry Frequency's Twitter account, including our latest one, How Do You Wipe? We're going to be talking about that la- next week and discussing the... Oh, yeah. Silox has all the details on that one. He knows how to wipe his butt real good. I have firsthand experience with that one. Okay. Um... With that in mind, this is Furry Frequencies <laughs> signing off with Lift Up. God damn it. With Silox. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Lifty. <laughs> Get fucked. Shut up, you. Say your name. <laughs> you know what? This shit's gone on long enough. Good fucking night. <laughs>